Good morning, class. Okay. Before our class start, in the count of one, please collect the garbage under the chair. And in the count of two, sit properly. And in the count of three, give a moment of silence. Okay, now one, two, three. Okay, now please bow your head and let us put ourselves in the Holy Presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, thank you, Lord, that you are our friend. Uh, we do, you delight in all we do, especially when you uh, when you hear our prayers. And we give thanks to you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, who is absent today? Okay, very good. No one is absent. So, what I want to share to you, what I usually do every, every time, every day, okay. When I wake up, well, first thing first, I always talk to God and to say good morning and thank Him for the wonderful day. So, next is, before, before fixing myself, before fixing the bed, um, we do our our breakfast and before taking our breakfast uh we do prayer and and every time i leave the house and i got home i usually bless and kiss my parents okay i want you i want to ask you how was your day or what is the usual things that you do every day like before eating a meal what do you do first Yes, Angela, since you are raising your hand, okay, praying or talking to God before eating, very good. So, how about when you're going to school? What do you do before leaving at home or before leaving your parents? Okay, we do the same, bless and kiss. So, have you ever felt or thought that you become used to with it? Okay, what other practices at home or anywhere that you've used to with just like the examples I mentioned earlier? So, very good. Another one. Okay, last one. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, what do you think does it refers to? Is it a belief, way of life, or art? Or an art? Okay, an art. Okay, belief. Culture, okay. What else? Way of life, okay. Thank you. Do you think others or all of us have that kind of practices too? Okay. In that practice, how would you call it? A culture. Okay, a culture. Thank you. Do we have different cultures? Why do you say so, Angela? Okay, thank you. Today class is storytelling time. So our story for today is Kabunian. What do you think Kabunian is? Is it a person, a place, a thing? Yes, Max. You think it's a place? Me? You think it's a human? Y yes, and... Angelica, you think it's a thing. So let's find out in the story who Kabunian is. Okay? Kabunian. This is a mythology that tells us how Bathala, God, named Kabunian created humans. Yes, me. He is a God. We are going to find out how he created humans. Okay? Bathala Kabunian 
is the god of the Ifugao and is very lonely because there is no existence of living creatures on this world. No such humans around. Okay, so wala kunoy ka ng kuan, ka ng mga living things sa, sa yahang place. So, lonely si Batala uh, Kabunian. So, as you can see, Batala Kabunian's attire looks just like the, um, how Ifugao people dress, the ethnic ones. Look at his hat. Um, he uses feathers for his accessories. And then he also has a spear. And he has a lot of tattoos all over his body. Okay. One day, Batala Kabunian went to Pulug Mountain in order to create humans. So, he's lonely and he wants to create humans. And he is in Pulog Mountain. But Hala Kabunian said, I have to create humans in order for them to guard and cultivate cultivate the beauty of the surroundings. So he wants to preserve the beauty of the surroundings. So he wants um, to create humans to take care of it. But Hala Kabunian again said, I make three types of humans according to their skin colors. What do you think are the colors he chose? This three types of humans according to your skin colors. Let's find out. Okay. While Batala Kabunian sitting on the big rock, he gathered soft clay mud and shaped it a design in order to make humans out of it. So he took mud and then shaped it into a human form. He made it slowly, not knowing that it's too dark already. So, sige siya, sige siya, himo, sige siya, create, and then wala siya kay ba, nga, nitnita di ay, gabi na di ay. And those dark colors of the surroundings stick to the surface of the soft clay mud. So, nagabi in naman no, gabi in na, nagabihan na siya ka ng create o guan, ka ng human. So, the darkness kay ni stick to sa model na ihanggi create. But Hala Kabunian said, It's too dark already. I continue tomorrow to create another two humans out of clay mud. So, niya, ugma na sad siya, mag-create og another human being. Then, but Hala Kabunian fall asleep. Okay. Are we doing good so far? Okay, wala ra naglibog. Very good. Any questions before we continue? Okay, very good, May. Thank you. When Batala Kabuni and wake up, mata na siya. Even in the surroundings are still dark, so sayo pas buntag siguro mga 4 a.m. na siya ni Mata. He then makes another human made out of shaped clay mud. So, na-start na po siya create o ganang another model na sad na nag-form sa, uh, form like a human being. But Hala Kabunian just finished the second human shape in a clay mud while the sun already starts shining on the horizon. So, siguro nag-start siya 4 a.m. and then pag-create niya sa katong human model may out of clay kay Alasay sa sabuntag, so nag-start, nag-rise ang sun. So, the whitish color of the sun rays at the clay mud, then the color, the whitish color of the sun rays strikes at the clay mud. Then the color of the model becomes white. So, di ba, atong paggagabi, eh, kay katong, katong uh, clay model na yung create kay ang um, darkness sa surroundings or ang gabi i, nipilit sa katong clay mud. This time, ang nipilit sa katong clay mud, kay katong kahayag sa sun. Katong sun rays. Okay? So, this is the picture. Okay? So, you see the clay mud he created kay white ang color and then blue ang eyes. 
Tapos ni Rice na ang sun. Okay. Are we good? So, how many clay mud did he make na di ay? Okay, very good. Dana tayo two. So, mag-create pa siya og one last clay mud para makomplete niya ang ihang ganahan. Sige. But hala kabuni and said, I already made two humans out of clay mud. But hala kabuni and again, gathered some clay mud and start creating another human form model. Hmm. Create siya ikatulo. The sun is already shining very high in the sky. Siguro mga alas dusi na ni kay. Kung ano man, init na kaayo. <laughs> it's noon time and he already finished this third model. He then exposed to the sun rays to quickly dry out. So, ihanggi, buwad ang ihanggi hibu na human clay model. But Batala Kabunian suddenly falls asleep, not knowing that he left the third model exposed to the sun due to the extreme tiredness. So, ganina po dyan siya alas nag ano, nag-create, di ba? So, gikapoy siya. After niya create sa ikaduhan na clay model sa human, ni pahuway siya, ni sleep siya, na nalimtan niya ang iyahang gibuwad nga an clay model. So, batala kabuni and, uh, and when batala kabuni and wake up, the third clay mud model that he made are in colored brownish. So, ni kuan, ni himong brown or kayumanggi color. So, na himo brown ka itong ihang gibuwad. Diba? Siyempre, kung mabuwad sa adlaw, mo brown dyan na. Okay. So, batala ka buni and said, At least, I finally finished making these three types of clay mud models. And in a blink of an eye, sorcery. So, kuan di ayin si batala ka buni and magic magic na yun no, sorcery. So, those three types of clay mud models black, white, and brownish people soon become become humans, ancestors to where those people here on earth came from. So, according sa kuan um, mythology sa Ifugao, gikan kuno taani na three types of um, people, ang um, white, ang um, brown, ug ang ano ang white, ang brown, ug ang dark or black so that was the end of the story so this is the picture kana sila kani ang nadiri sa akong side kay si Batala Kabunian then ang brownish people then ang white people then ang black people so I have a question o oh, sige kamo sa mga tana Ah, okay na, okay na di ay. Ako'y mga tana ha. So, kinsa pa to? Who are the people made by Batala Kabunian? Hmm, Carmela. Okay. Yes, very good. Ang black, ang white, ang brownish people. So, um, yes, May? You want to answer the next question, okay? Very good. What does the color of the skin of the black human looks like? Yes, very good, May. It looks like the darkness of the night. Okay, very good. So, what does the color of the skin of the white human looks like? Yes, um, Roy. Very good. It looks like the um, sun rays. White ka ayun no. Very good. So, what does this col the color of the skin of the brown or brownish people look like? <laughs> yes. Very good. May sumura siya na natubod or na sa itawaga na ay natubod or nabuwad na kuan. <laughs> yes, it is. <music>
But how like Bonnie and create people by using clay, sand, night sky, and magic. So now, look at your skin colors. Okay, look at. Okay, tell me what is it? Okay, Chloe, what is it? White, very good. Next, Caleb. Brown, very good. Jade. Black, very good. So we have brown, white, and black. So now, do you respect people with different colors, skin color, than you? Okay, very good. You will respect them. Very good. How will you respect them? By not bullying. Very good. Next, another. Tina, okay. Say the skin color is beautiful. Very good, Tina. What else? Okay. Trisha. Okay, Trisha. Okay, very good. Your art your answer is correct. So now, what will you say to the people who do not respect the differences of other people's skin? Skin color or culture? So, how do you say to them? Okay, very good. So, even though we have differences, we should respect each other. Okay, very good. Okay, now, I will group you in two groups. So, row 1 and row 2, you are group 1. Row 3 and row 4, you are group 2. So, please go now to your group. Okay, in the count of five, you are there in your group. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now you are in your group. So, please get your clays. Okay, using your clays, you are going to create the characters and setting of the story. You have 10 minutes to do that. Okay. So, after 10 minutes, you will retell the story using your clay artwork. You will present it in front of the class and each of, group, each of the group are given 5 to 10 minutes maximum to present. So, here are the rubrics. So, here is the rubrics. Okay. Um, time starts now. Okay, congratulations to all the groups because um you've really presented it well and the next thing we're, that we're going to do is to have a test and you're going to take this test in your google classroom class and this will just stay for um, five minutes only and if you have any questions about the test then you can raise your hand or you may chat your question in the chat box okay so five minutes Starts now. Okay, time's up. Okay, five minutes is done, and um, as what I've seen in my database here is all of you have submitted the test. And um, thank you, thanks for that. And then before we end this class. I will um, tell you first what is our assignment for today. Okay, so our assignment for today is in the next meeting, you will be going to, you know, to bring a book or your favorite book that is about culture. Okay, so you will gonna also tell in the class why that book is your favorite. Okay, and I will also gonna ask these following, following questions to you. Okay, a moment please. Like, what was the story about? What is the belief and culture in your book? From, 
what country or places to move to you from? What is the difference between the culture of Kabuni An and the book you bring? Okay? Understood? So I guess that's all. We're all set. And goodbye everyone. Goodbye my dear class. See you when I see you again. Goodbye. Thank you.